Hello, today we're going to have a story about a disciple named Thomas. Now I wonder if you know anyone called Thomas. Maybe they're called Tom. There's a couple of stories in the Bible about Thomas and I'm going to tell you both of them. In the first story, Jesus is with all the disciples, including Thomas. And Jesus has heard that his friend Lazarus is sick and he's obviously worried about his friend and he's decided that he's going to go and see him. But the disciples say, oh Jesus, it's not safe for you to go to where Lazarus lives. You see, last time Jesus was in that place, the people were not very nice to Jesus and they wanted to kill him. But Thomas, Thomas is brave and he says, Oh Jesus, we will go with you, even though it means we might be killed. So, Jesus and Thomas and the other disciples set off. So when they come to Lazarus' house, all the disciples come, and Jesus, they meet Martha. Martha is Lazarus' sister, and she's very sad. She says, Jesus, you've come too late. Lazarus has died. And Jesus said, well, where have you put his body? And in those days, when somebody died, they would put their body in a cave and put a stone across the entrance and we call it a tomb. So, Jesus and Martha and the disciples arrived at the tomb and there were a lot of people there who were very sad about the fact that Lazarus had died. But Jesus said, take away the stone from the tomb. So they took away the stone that was covering up the entrance. And then Jesus said, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus, who had been dead, came to life. It was the most incredible Miracle, because he had been dead and now he was alive. And Thomas, he was there with the other disciples to witness this miracle. Now in the Bible there's another story that has a tomb in it. And you might know. It's the story of when Jesus died. And Jesus' body was placed in a tomb. But Jesus came to life again. And this is the next story that we have about Thomas. Jesus had died and had come to life again. But the disciples hadn't seen him. And one day the disciples were all together in a room except Thomas, he wasn't there. And Jesus suddenly appeared. The disciples were amazed. Jesus was alive. They were so happy. The disciples were so excited that they had seen Jesus alive, but Thomas wasn't there. When they next saw Thomas, they told him, we have seen Jesus and he's alive. But Thomas said, well, I can't believe it. Unless I actually see him myself and touch him myself, I just can't believe that he's alive. Now, just over a week later, the disciples were all together 
And again, Jesus appeared to them. And now Thomas knew that it really was true that Jesus was alive. And Jesus said, blessed are those who have not seen me and have believed. So we believe in Jesus and we don't see him here with us now but we know that he is with us wherever we are. So that is the story of Thomas.